Okay, we're here live, and uh, joining me right now is the author of Gridiron Genius uh, and the host of a podcast, Mike Lombardi. Mike, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm pr- pretty good. Thank you so much for asking me. That's polite. What, um, what, when you say Gridiron Genius, do you are you referring to yourself as a genius or geniuses you've worked <laughs> with, or are you a genius? Uh, I'm referring to the people that I was blessed to work with. I think the plural of that probably was debated for a while. You know, but I thought that the, the title explained itself in terms of what I was trying to accomplish. What what makes a genius? You know, that's a good question. Einstein Thank has you. five definitions of intelligence. Ooh, and, can, can I try? Uh, may I try and guess one or two? Go ahead. Um, I would say, uh, hmm, geez, nope, I'm stupid. Well, I think the first one, you know, the fifth one would be smart. The second one would be Ooh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The third one would be, in, the, th- the fourth one would be intelligent. The third one would be brilliant. The second one would be genius. And the first one, simple. So I think simple plans, usually uh, people confuse with being genius. And I think that that's often what happens. What, what do you think what, when you get around a genius like Bill Belichick, do you get smarter? Do you make? Do you make yourself smarter or make me smarter by being around him? I think, you know, if you're a lifelong learner, you learn to be, uh, learn from these people that you work with. Yeah, no doubt. What, tell me about your podcast. Uh, the GM Shuffle, with, it's with Adnat Burke. We mm-hmm. handle that uh, on Cadence 13. It comes out every Wednesday. We talk about all the things that happen in the NFL during the week. What is your favorite? I I listened to you over the years, and I'm a little nervous. I'm a big fan, but when you when when you when you talk when you say like you know uh, you have quotes from like George Allen or evaluate the evaluate like what is your two or three favorite quotes that you use in your day in day out life? Because I'm trying to use more quotes in my day in and day out life. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I think if we're all thinking alike, no one's thinking. I think that's critical. Who's who said was that? Uh, who, who was that? that uh, was, was that from, Sun, that was Sun, Sun Zhu? Coach Walsh. Oh, that okay. was from Coach Walsh in my book. Mm-hmm. And uh, is that Pat, know, so Pat, that, Pat? Pat? Is that Pat Walsh, the softball coach? No, I said Bill Walsh. Oh, Pat Walsh was a softball coach in my town growing up. I thought that's a quinky dink if you knew her. <laughs> hmm. What are some other quotes? Uh, you know, I think that's that's probably about the one that I would think of mostly every day. Okay. Um, do you have any famous stories from Al Davis? Do I? When is this going to air? Can I? When will this air? Do you know? It, I will. It's going to air tomorrow. Is it your podcast? Yes. Okay. Do you have any anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I'm pretty good. Oh well, thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate it. This is your interview. This is what you did. Well, I do you have. I'm. I'm always open to, to, to. to ooh, now I'm nervous. I'm always open to to, to suggestions in, in in counsel. No, I'm. I'm fine. Thank you. No, I. What? No, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend you. No, I'm fine. Thank you. I appreciate you calling me. Thank you. Ooh, boy, that did not go well. Uh. Yes, um, oh gee, now I've offended one of my, I didn't even get a chance to talk about Bruce Springsteen, and he's one of my, oh, oh, I've hurt one of my heroes, this is painful, this hurts me from the bottom of my feet to the tippy top of my head, and right in the middle where my little sporty used to live, I'm not sure, I was really going to want to hear the rest of his quotes, and I wanted to hear more about Einstein. And I wanted to hear about Al Davis. Maybe he had had Feduccini with him one time. But unfortunately, it didn't seem like he was enjoying the uh, conversation uh, very much. And this is like, <sighs> I'm trying to think of a similar time. One of my heroes was mad at me. And I do remember um, I was going for a power walk. I, I can't run uh, because of my heels. I have um, arched feet and blisters, as I mentioned earlier. But I was running in Groton one time, or walking rather, Oop. Eh, not running, sporty, walking. Um, that's why your parents left you, sporty, because you get things wrong sometimes. And that's why when you get Bill Madlock's batting average in 1982 wrong, your dad is going to leave and he's going to marry a sports information director who knows what Bill Madlock's batting average was in 1982, sporty. Anyways, 
I was power walking one time in Groton, and I wasn't paying attention. The fall was mine. I'm a Hall of Fame writer. I didn't do the Sunday notes for years. And Peter Gammons, and I was not at the crosswalk. It was not my. It was not Peter Gammons' fault. It was Sporty's fault. And Sporty, and Peter Gammons slammed his horn at me, and I looked at him, and we made eye contact, and he was disappointed. And I did run after him. I did run into a light trot trying to catch up to him to apologize, and I have not had the opportunity to do that since. So I'm sorry to Peter Gammons and to Mike Lombardi, who I would like to have on again sometime in the near future to maybe make me smarter. Sporty R. McKenzie, loving you very much and hoping that all your kicks go through the posts and all your shots hit the net. And all your dives hit the water. And all your drives hit the fairways. <laughs>